Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Victoria 3 as Belgium. If I sound a little different today, it's because I'm sick! I don't know if I got a cold or a flu, that C-19 stuff, uh, but I got something. Uh, stuffy nose, fever, and just a throat that sounds weird. It doesn't actually hurt, which is good, because I was like, yeah, I'll go ahead and record, but yeah, if I sound different <coughs> and occasionally cough, my apologies. Um, that is why. But I really did want to record because it's been a couple of days, um, maybe more than a couple of days since the last episode uh, went up on the Yub Tubs. And it's actually been, I think, 12 days since I recorded the last episode because, of course, I recorded a bunch before going away uh, on Holland Days. I went, to, uh, I went to Disney World. So with my family. Um, and apparently that is a land that is plagued with all sorts of disease or something like that. Don't know what it, what it, where it was that I caught whatever. I was seated next to some people on the plane on the way home who, uh, it was a family of a, so a mom, dad, and a kid. The mom and the kid were both coughing the entire time and weren't wearing a mask. So I had a mask on, but I think it could only do so much. So I, I wonder if that's where it happened. But anyway, we're going to do what we can today. Um, as far as I can tell, things are going pretty swell with this game. We have, not too long ago, I think, left the uh, British Customs Union. It is interesting they do have the Republic over here. We're still a monarchy for now, and I'm kind of curious to see how long that's going to go. Um, Event-wise, we've got the Spectre haunting the world, but I don't think that's going to trigger over here. Uh, we've got the Scramble for Africa event, which I... I mean, unless there's something I'm misreading about this, is going to take forever to do. Maybe it's something we can compete for and take over. 95% state regions? Like, really? Wait, hold on. I wonder... I assumed <clears throat> this was 95% state regions had to be completely owned by, like, one country outside of Africa, yada, yada, yada. But I'm thinking now, I'm just realizing that it probably, because it's the only thing that makes sense for this to ever be something completable, this probably completes when 95% of state regions is owned by any number of countries with a capital outside of Africa. I don't know, one way or another, we'll see. We do have this established colonial administration thing going on, but as far as I can tell, it's still kind of meh. We've got a pretty strong movement for wage subsidies, um, and I was doing some Googlefication about uh, this for the welfare laws. It seems like the current meta is mostly to not run Social Security until you can get old age pension, and then it's worthwhile. Um, I mean, the base level wouldn't be so bad. The 20% welfare payments probably wouldn't bankrupt us, although who knows. Um, and it might help to offset some of these radicals from... Um, massive poverty, but probably not that much at the first level because it's only 20%. Uh, it looks like the advantage to old age pension is the plus 20% dependence income because um, just based on the research I was doing, it looks like a lot of your population are dependents. So these are people who aren't working because their children are retired or whatever. And that plus 20% income kind of just makes money kind of out of thin air for your economy, which seems pretty good. Uh, but otherwise, we probably won't bother running it. I still wouldn't mind a professional army because I just like the sound of it, you know? So, yeah, we can mobilize a lot of people with the militia over here. But the five barracks max level is kind of annoying to me. Whereas over here... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the 100 barracks max level is pretty good. I'm actually wondering about... start. Ooh, that's a lot of radicals. That's a lot of radicals. Okay, so we're not going to do any of that right now. I think I'll go ahead and just unpause here and let some things trickle through. I did set up a bunch of trade deals uh, before the episode started, so I'm just going to let these numbers settle down, the convoys and bureaucracy, and just to see what that shakes up as. We got ourselves a rubber rush happening. And we have plenty of things in the construction queue. Now, I did put some construction sectors at the top. Now, they are not the places with the greatest construction efficiency, but I think that's okay. We could go and do the uh, roadworks thing, but I think we're all right. So what we're going to do here is we are going to add some more construction districts as long as we're turning a profit. Okay, we did lose a interest. I had noticed that when I loaded up the save and I was checking up the declare interests. Oh, see, now to the back. We are at six of five, but now all of a sudden we're at five of six. So I can put it back in the Nile. I guess it was probably just recalculating something. Major power. I wonder if like it recalculated the Navy power projection. So there was a moment where it went down and then back up. Oh, Leopold, new ruler. Okay, illegitimate government. Let's take a look at Leopold over here. Bourgeoisie, royalist, Flemish, he's liked. Pious, demagogue. Okay. 
We do currently have an illegitimate government. We don't have an election brewing. Looks like no to me. I did want to reform. Ooh, that's not ideal. What's the... Can we reset this? Fifty percent from standard living, twenty-seven k additional radicals per month. I did switch to just this. We still get the twenty-seven additional radicals per month, but we don't get we get plus twenty-five percent instead of plus fifty percent. This is interest group members because yeah, people are cranky in their interest groups. Um, let me hold off on this for a sec. Let's see what might change somewhere else. Okay, our rivals in the Netherlands have been arming these natives. We can de-escalate, that'll slow down our colonial growth generation. I'm actually okay with tensions going up because we could do a little fight against natives. We don't care about the Netherlands, they're our rival. Now, there are a few people that ask about, hey, could we take a stab at the Portuguese colonies in Africa? Also, maybe invade the Netherlands? And those would both be fun, and maybe they would be the strongest play. Right now, I'm kind of happy to keep using my infamy to, like, conquer things here. Oh! Hey, we just maxed out our colonial affairs. Level 5. Hey. British Republic. Okay. There's an uprising. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay, money is negative right now. They're not really in a problematic way. Railway in the Yoruba states, which is good because it did have a transportation shortage, so that's going to be resolved. Some low market access in a couple of places. Actually, Flanders having low market access is really not ideal. It does have a railway in the queue, either uh, must be over here. Yeah, there it is. Can I bump it up? I think I should. Oh, but finish the Europa States one first. Ending the slave trade. <clears throat> okay. Uh, who the, the trade unions, well-known opponent of the global slave trade, argues that our colonial ambitions in Belgium, North and Cape should be leveraged towards ending the practice on the continent. The duty to end slavery wherever our power reaches. Okay, which boosts our colonial growth. That's nice. Tensions increased. Practical diplomacy. Local slave trade could be a good source of workforce for our local projects. All right. <clears throat> How evil are we? I don't I don't think I can I don't think I can do anything other than hit one just for myself. I know this is the we are the bad guys playthrough. But I mean it feels bad, man. Um I mean there we go. We already have slavery banned. I guess what we're doing is we're pushing So these countries, I guess it's that Sawana and Nama are doing slavery and so we're using our political power there it seems first of all and actually from a minmax point of view it feels like number one is the way to go because the colonial growth generation and speed is really good so we're gonna go with that plus again i mean we're evil but we got we got limits oh. whether the trust of the people or the trenches of soldiers belgium has emerged unbroken from the wave of social oh, oh yeah right okay crime for all of belgium Legitimacy, loyalists, laborers with political strength, upper middle strata gain some loyalism, or things will never be the same again. Uh, okay. So this top option does give us the loyalty, or legitimacy, I should say. <clears throat> the bottom one... Increases support for secret police and militarized police force. And does give us even more loyalists in the upper and middle strata. Well, the loyalists from standard living increases is pretty good. I think we're just going to go with option one here. Because I don't think I'm pushing for secret police or anything like that. Yeah, I know we have an unacceptable thing. Now, Europa states, you have finished your railroad, right? Or, no, not yet. Okay. I guess if I stop pausing so much. So, you should be okay now. Because you're going to hire... This should get rid of the shortage entirely. There you go, and start to normalize the prices. All right. Repeaters unlock the arms industry and leads to extra tech, including the machine gun, 
which was that where we were going. The kill rate is pretty substantial. Not that we're really doing major wars right now. Nothing really sketchy, nothing really problematic. But if we were, we'd want this. Alternatively, you know what? I think we're going to go for improved fertilizer and boost our economy. All right. Railway there. Gold mines are going, which is going to be great. More universities. Excellent. Okay. And money is pot Barely, but they are. You know what? Let's build a couple more construction sectors in Wallonia. It'll go super fast. And I think we can support that. What's the price of these goods? Wood's a little on the higher side. We can go lumberjacking some more. Tools are a little bit on the higher side as well. Those could be something we look at momentarily. Um, yeah, we don't have a ton of convoys left, because again, I did before the stream started take a look at some of our some of our goods. We have quite a surplus still of fabric. I mean, honestly, 300 is not a ridiculous surplus of things compared to other parts of the game. There we go. We'll export some of that. Especially if it doesn't need convoys. I think fruit is like, yeah, I think fruit is cheap the world over. And we can export some iron to Prussia and basically kill that off completely. Can we import some tools, maybe? There we go. And some wood would be quite nice. Uh, no, nothing there. All right, money slightly more negative, but that's okay. Again, we did just build some more construction sectors. Although theoretically with our imports here, maybe some of these will go down. Mission to Africa. Ah, the gospel. Conversion. I mean, this seems like the sort of thing we'd be hitting here. Oh, we're there for the glory of Belgium, not for the glory of God. Well, again, I'm actually not too concerned about lowering tension. That's fine, because if there's some tension, we can go and beat them up. That's not a problem. Conversion rate, migration attraction, unincorporated states. Yeah, okay, you know what? We'll go with option one. This seems slightly more evil. Um, despite a proclaimed goal of ending the slave trade in Africa, recent reports suggest laborers in Belgian inner Mauritania are, in all but name, slaves under a colonial administration. I mean... I... I they're probably not wrong. Okay. Utter hypocrisy. These abuses must end. Uh, okay. Or it may seem similar, but the hard work we fried builds character. What is that um, Rick and Morty line? Slavery with extra steps. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's going to lose the pledge. Okay. Let's say, hey, it's going to go up and then down, but no. Double standard, intelligence, you don't like it either. Hard work we provide builds character. This seems exactly in line with this sort of colonialist mentality. Colonialist mentality that we're going for right now? Yeah, we're going to do that. No, it's totally not slavery. We're just, yeah, we're the bad guys. We're the bad guys. Uh, established colony, okay. Railway in Flanders, which is hopefully going to improve its market access a little bit. And then Vrystat over here does have a railway down at the bottom. Europa States still has a transportation shortage. I'm surprised about. I mean, you're definitely filling up. France wants a defensive pack. Hang on a second. There's Faust. Woo! It's fired cannons. Um... Does he get syphilis regardless? He gets syphilis regardless. Become an alcoholic. Victor will step down. So it's going to replace the leader of the Catholic Church. Rule group gets plus one. Yeah, all right. We cannot trust a man like this. We'll take the plus one. Visitors from the colonies. Intellectuals from Walata are visiting. So all affectations and lies. Send them back immediately. Uh, in case of their home country is far more civilized than we make it out to be, mm. colonial designs of them are unjustified. See, this doesn't sound like the sort of thing we would go along with here, but let's see what the options are. So all affectations and lies send them back immediately. So minus one to trade unions and intelligentsia, and tensions go up. Perhaps there's some value. Oh, no, this lowers our colonial growth speed. Unacceptable. So we're not going to do that. Um, We do have a bunch of influence available right now, because I guess we finished improving all of our relations just now. As it turns out. 
sure. You don't want to be pulled in. Who's going to attack France? All right. I'll say yes. And nationalism more authority. Hey, can I improve relations with anyone who matters? Oh, uh, that's it, huh? And then a bunch of little guys. As previously stated, probably don't matter. Madagascar. Okay. Money is basically break even. Slight amount of debt, but this is all good. Minus 24, minus 41%. Okay, that's pretty bad, but we need those mines. Looks like we're building two things over here, including this wheat farm. I wonder if that was previous to our conquest. So let's run some road maintenance here. I'll have to remember to cancel that later. New parties. Are we getting an election yet? Just for solidarity with the patriotic party. Encourage the supporters to vote in the ongoing election. Uh, Patriotics is bourgeoisie and military. <clears throat> you know, I don't mind the armed forces getting a attraction boost. Specifically. More than the bourgeoisie. And the reason is, again, I would probably like to run professional army. And making the armed forces, who I assume are in favor of that, making them more powerful should be fairly useful that way. How's our infamy? Okay, it's still present. Not too bad. Okay, we do have an election. Ooh, money is positive. More construction industry? Perhaps. Still some shipworks, shipyards, glassworks, steel mills, arts, da-da-da-da-da. I, mean, I think so. Okay, let's build, um... Couple more in Flanders. I didn't alt click one of them. We'll do that ahead of the others. That's kind of what's going to keep happening here. Is when our, uh, as our money is positive, we will slap down some more construction districts, so we can build. <clears throat> sorry about the sniffle there. So we can build more stuff more faster and constantly improve things. Uh, the red scare. So I think, yeah, and at some point we're going to have to go with a, a some sort of socialist communist run, but I don't think this one is the one. Leftists are traitors to the union. Yeah, negative momentum to the workers' party is, I think, where we want to go. Yeah. I'm just going to go for the paper mills throughput for the economy here, rather than manipulate the election that much. So yeah, they're still... How's our Northern Cape? And that's with the... Road maintenance, huh? Yeah, they have high turmoil. Okay. Reform government. Hello, 94 freaking percent. Okay. And I think I'm fine with it. Industrialists. Armed forces, particularly intelligentsia. Yes, that is confirmed. We have a righteous government. Um, again, I'm interested in... Oh, that's not where I want to go. <clears throat> in professional army. Radicalization is still a big issue. We can't improve that. I don't want migration controls. Public schools are good. You know, let's get a dedicated police force. Okay, it's going to radicalize the rural folk. I think I might be willing to eat that. Get some police. Let me check our colony situation. We still have a few running. We could go and add some more, but again, I kind of don't want to spread our efforts too thin. I want to take big chunks of states if I can, rather than have little micro states. Okay, we're going to let you finish, and then we're going to cancel the road maintenance. Especially now that we're actually passing a law, so we'd want the authority to speed that along. And cancel. All right, textile mills, we get some more universities. Ooh, that's quick. I think we got it on the first tick. I wasn't watching it, but I suspect that's the only possibility. Low org, I think... Yeah, we don't have any leaders. Let me go and disband you. 
and sword defender intelligence i'd like more support for the intelligence yeah so that seems okay do this one all right oh i did have a decision <clears throat> do a niger river expedition i think we should do this Anyway, we'll send the Admiral. I don't know if you've got any traits that help one way or another, but we're unlikely, we're less likely to use our um, Navy for a bit than our ground forces. So we'll keep them busy that way. Although we could always just go and hire more generals and stuff too. Down to just one issue in Vrystat, which again does have this queued up. Eventually that'll get done. I'm not too worried about the timing on that. That's okay. Wow, we are going through this so fast. The law? Right, radicals do continue to go up uh, quite bigly. <clears throat> really, we should, I might have to do wage subsidies. Dang it. Hey, Hippopotamus. And we got a police force. Hey, the hippo sleeps. Minor progress. All right. Threshing machine. Right. Reduces the amount of workers we need, which isn't necessarily what I need to rush for. Uh, automatic irrigation is pretty good. I have to start generating a bunch more engines, but that is handy. We could also just, just finish these guys, which we're just about to get anyway. Oh, this is another lower the amount of workers. Shift work, vacuum cleaning. Uh, oh, construction sector the throughput. Hold on, we need that. Silly me. That is very important. What I should do, is I feel like I should have a list of like for every age, like this is the age three text. What are the things to like really prioritize? And indeed, <clears throat> getting a big construction sector throughput for free. Well, it's sort of but kind of for free is going to be incredibly handy. I don't think we get free output. I think it also increases the inputs, but each construction sector does more, which is going to be good. I might be wrong about that. Maybe it is just hell on earth. Mistreatment of rubber workers. Increased mortality. That's if we can't slow down production. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or we can launch an inquiry in conditions, reducing the throughput. Feels to me like option one is what we do. So we're going to do that. Now, we've, there you go. We've unlocked a couple of techs here that are going to affect our building modes. This would actually be profitable. All right, let's do that. I will exempt you. Okay, not profitable there. Not there. Oh, mostly we need, we're gonna need a lot more coal happening. Improved fertilizer, 100%. Um, tenders. Okay, I'm gonna exempt you for now. Uh, ooh, is it time to make the push all the way to steamships? Maybe. Small arms aren't worth anything, and I'm trying to export some, too. The arms industry is so tricksy. Yeah, full fertilizer. Full fertilizer. Yeah, it frees up a bunch of workers, but not necessarily that profitable. Um, yeah, I think we'd like to see more coal mines. Let's get some more into some of our overseas holdings. Because <clears throat> I think we are going to make some mode change. If we switch over to dreadnoughts and things like that, I think... Do they use steel? Maybe they just use iron. But I think we want to make a fairly significant change to some of our uh, building modes pretty soon. All right, expedition. I mean, I don't think it's got any peril. Oh, disentry. Move on, rest for a while. Uh, well, right now, I don't think it's going to So we're going to go ahead and gain some peril. 
medium peril. We'll see about reducing it next time. Market access still a thing. Furniture manufactories. I think uh, we are just trying to build one in a few different places to bring down some prices. More colonies going on with France. You know what? I don't need to make friends with Prussia. We're just going to take the progress. Now, infamy. Basically gone. Let's start some crap. How about Gaza over here? Especially if we're considering maybe going after Portuguese colonies. Could give us some more options. Yeah, I think I like this idea. You just have the one state? No valid war goals. So I think the answer is yes. I don't think we're going to need both armies. I think one's going to be more than enough. Ooh, convoys. I had not noticed that. Um, I guess we're not finishing these. That's going to have to be okay. Attack on the river. Run. We would gain some minor progress. I wonder if it's going to tweak the peril. Okay. No, we seem to be all right. Being exiled. Yeah, this wage subsidies is generating. Okay, it has gone down some. The radicalism isn't quite as high. I mean, if we keep improving our standard of living, maybe they won't need the wage subsidies as much. It might be worth pushing the first level. Local guys. Yeah, let's try. There you go. I think if it fails, you might just lose some time. All right, we're in position. That should be okay. No war breaks out. I didn't check. These are the only two combatants, right? Yeah, we should go and just smack them. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mission. Okay, hold on. We click this button to confirm that we've succeeded. And then the rest of these events shouldn't be relevant anymore. Weird. Oh, of course we're going to go to option one. I mean, obviously. With this particular vibe that we've got going on, we're clicking number one. Uh, we need to teach them to speak the hmm, proper language. Not that I'm sure Belgium can agree on which language is the proper language. Market access all over is a little problematic, but that's because of our convoy situation. We do have quite a bit of trade going on. Oh, now we got a positive. Never mind. All right. Oh, it's fluctuating wildly. Colonization Timbuktu is completed. Okay, so I'm going to start another colony. Oh, actually, there's none going on right now. Strange. So I don't know what to prioritize. Cool. Cool. All very valuable. Actually, I kind of want to go west over here and merge all this up. Oh, it's not showing me my current colonies. The colonies are running. It's because we've got, we can't remove it because we're at war. Okay. Um, any chance we want to do more over here? I'm wondering about Dar al Kuti just to push more east. It's got coal mines as well. It'll open up more attack options. Okay, let's do that. I could also look at the traits, I suppose. Alright, that war's about to end. We are researching... Oh yes, the reinforced concrete. Money is positive. Conquer is done. How's your infamy? Manageable. I mean, maybe I should just be taking more coastline, but... Oh, so now if we take a look at established colony, yeah, these are currently all renewed. Um... Hardwood... Negative infrastructure, but it's balanced out by the Congo River. We've got the Zambezi River. Um, oh, 
I'm busy. It's just regular malaria. Okay. Let's start that. And in the transportation shortage. I'm going to alt click a railroad. Rubble rush, sure. Universities are kicking in very nicely. I was told that being over cap on literacy actually isn't like it's not a waste. It still helps with uh, spreading the tech. Ooh, we got some wars going on there. Scramble. <clears throat> we've got this. Any events in our journal? Not currently. Oh, monitors. This. 20% monitors. Kind of in favor of doing this. So level 10 government infrastructure. Oh, we actually have a taxation capacity deficit here. Okay, I'm gonna queue up four so that we can complete that. You're running on the standardized filing cabinet, which is what we need, right? Yeah. So we just gotta get to level 10. Which is maybe more bureaucracy than we need, but that's going to be okay. I mean, this is the one I really would like to do. I don't have a lot of authority. It'd be nice to do some suppression. Um, oh, we are suppressing the rural folk, which is good. I mean, I could lower some consumption taxes, but... But consumption taxes pay for our construction, so... I don't know about that. Anyway, I think this will bring us to the end of this episode. Thank you for dealing with my wonky voice and sniffles. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.